Okay, I, I'm grateful for the opportunity to share my reflections on the progress and promise of cancer research and to describe our path of discovery and our vision to use precision and not just intuition for cancer diagnosis and treatment. So when I was a boy, many things were different. <laughs> my aspirations were simple, telephones were attached to the wall, and the Stanley Cup always remained under the care of Canadian teams. I intuitively knew that cancer was bad because it made people very sick. Cancer was also mysterious because we didn't understand it and we didn't talk about it openly. Today, many things have changed. We have handheld devices that connect, entertain, and inform us. The Stanley Cup hasn't been under the care of a Canadian team for decades. <laughs> and there have been remarkable advances in cancer research. We have unimaginable technologies, an explosion of knowledge, and spectacular examples of cancer treatment guided by knowledge instead of intuition. Our unimaginable technology include robots that are clean, tireless, and precise. Machines that identify and measure cellular components with unprecedented speed and accuracy. Analytical instruments to determine the shapes of cellular components where every atom is visible. And microscopes that allow us to watch cellular events as they happen in living cells. The knowledge explosion includes vast amounts of DNA sequence that has revealed genetic signatures for many forms of cancer and the blueprints for proteins that promote cancer progression. Because they play key roles in cells by working as machines or transmitting regulatory information, the proteins that promote cancer are promising new therapeutic targets as illustrated by the spectacular success of Gleevec that is used for the treatment of chronic myelogenous leukemia, where the drug selectively neutralizes the defective protein or defective machine that's responsible for that form of leukemia. Because of these incredible advances, we can now aspire to use our unimaginable technologies, learn from the explosion of knowledge, and devise innovative strategies to use precision not just intuition for cancer diagnosis and treatment. Our own path to precision medicine involves 10 researchers using complementary technologies and experimental approaches. Our research is guided by simple questions. We want to determine why cancer cells are different from normal cells. Our initial studies have been focused on a detailed characterization of individual proteins that promote cancer. To understand how these proteins promote cancer, we determine how they assemble into complex regulatory networks that enable cancer cells to form tumors and to evade traditional treatments. Our ultimate goal is to use our understanding of these regulatory networks to identify new drug targets or drug combinations that will selectively kill cancer cells without the harmful side effects of traditional therapies. As our knowledge of these regulatory networks within cancer cells has grown, we've also expanded our own global networks to work with researchers in many countries around the world to promote cooperation and sharing of materials and knowledge. We have also expanded our interactions to include oncologists and pharmaceutical companies to ensure that our research is aligned with clinical needs and opportunities. On our own path to precision medicine, our technology are, are complex, but our questions are simple and our aspirations are shared. I am excited by progress in cancer research and the promise that the transformation from intuition to precision will lead to precise identification of many individual forms of cancer and new opportunities to precisely target their underlying determinants for therapy. In closing, I thank the Canadian Cancer Society for more than 20 years of research funding, six years of salary support, as well as opportunity, encouragement, and inspiration. Thank you.